Woohoo! Thanks for joining me. It is a beautiful day in my neck of the woods and I'm feeling crafty. So I'm going to share a process video week 31 with you. I have pre-selected my photos and yep, I'm trying out the Allie Edwards story kit. This is my very first kit with the roots theme. I'm excited to use it. So sit back, kick up your heels, grab a bowl of popcorn, and let's have some fun. So first up, I have pre-selected cards, mainly the white, and some grid cards just to create the foundation, the starting foundation for this layout. I also grabbed one of the, um, or a couple Allie Edwards 4x6 cards, the so two cards on the bottom. The one on the right says, This Day in History. I thought that would be appropriate for this week, and I go ahead and start my journaling with my typewriter. The card on the left, 4x6 card, says, We Do. And I thought that that would be really, really appropriate to use um, with the wedding photograph um, of my husband and I um, taking our first dance as husband and wife. So with the journaling, I just put some little small bits and pieces of journaling together and each of those um, little sentences will accompany a photograph. So I'm going to start with this photograph on the far right. My husband, husband and I were out with friends celebrating um, a birthday and we took a few selfies and some other photos throughout the night with our phones. I have an iPhone and my girlfriend has a Samsung. What was a little, I guess, frustrating is that none of the photographs came out well. And I felt, like, sad about this. <laughs> um, but one of the things I want to remind you is that, you know what, photos aren't always perfect. And if we get hung up on using the perfect photograph in our project life spreads, I think we miss the point of it all. Sometimes I have my big camera and I'm taking awesome photographs, but a lot of times... They're just, you know, the everyday, the things of life, and they're imper imperfect, and they're blurry, and the lighting is poor. But that's okay. I think we have to embrace that and use the photographs and tell the stories, speak our truths. Um, and that, that is what really um, makes our Project Life um, albums, I think, special. So anyway, I'm using my imperfect photographs in this week's spread. Um, the journaling is fairly short on the 3 by 4 cards, and so I ground many of them with labels. So I have the label, and then I cut the um, journaling into strips and then um, place those on the 3 by 4 cards. With this particular card, I'm using the chipboard that comes in the Allie Edwards kit kind of as a line to kind of break up the journaling and the photograph and I have to tell you the chipboard is quite substantial and really really nice so I'm pleased with that. Now one of the things that's a little bit different for me is that the Allie Edwards is a very, the color palette is very muted. So this card that I just pulled out with the pale blue, that actually comes from a Studio Calico kit. And so what I found myself doing throughout this process was pulling in some of my older Studio Calico cards to bring in little bursts and pops of color. If you've seen any of my other process videos, you know that I am all about color and brightness and fun. And so one of the things that I kind of had to adjust my style to is the kind of softer colors um, that Allie Edward likes to use. I don't dislike them. It's just kind of rather a matter of me pulling in other elements that excite me and that I enjoy working with. So that's what I'm doing here in terms of going through these old 3 by 4 cards and finding some that I think will fit nicely with this particular week's theme. So not sure what card I want to use with that last photograph on the left. And in fact, I will end up putting it to the side and bringing it back in just a little bit. So next up is to go ahead and embellish this card, 4x6 card on the bottom. Again, that's an old photograph taken um, at our wedding. But I really, really love this 4x6 card and the simple statement, 
we do. And I thought to say we do still uh, love that sentiment, love that idea that after 18 years, I would still say I do in a heartbeat all over again. In fact, I keep telling my husband that I want to renew our vows for our 20th anniversary. I have these beautiful dreams of me in this absolutely fabulous white dress. You guys have to let me know that you have dreams like that as well. Okay, I digress. So I want to put the little people, um, little wood veneer people on that card as well, just to add a little bit more interest. But I'll come back to that in a moment. So now I've moved to the photograph on the top right. Again, a less than ideal photograph. My son took the photo with my phone and eh, it's an okay photograph, but we took it on August 2nd this year. Again, celebrating our anniversary. We took the boys out with us for an anniversary brunch, all four of us. And um, I journal about that, but I also want to keep this four by six card fairly simple and clean. And so the wood veneer and the kit this month are wonderful. Love the little established wood veneer that I'm using on the bottom left hand side and absolutely adore the us wood veneer that I'm going to use on the top right card. So once I finish gluing down those few items on the bottom left hand card, I'm going to go back up to the top and finish it off. And what I decide to do is to really kind of play with topography on this top card. Rather than using a lot of other um, kind of elements like tags or labels on this top right card, I'm going to use four different um, types of fonts and colors to create the interest on this spread. Keeping it simple, I think, but nevertheless interesting and fun. So I've got the wood veneer, then I've got my Tim Holt black letters, then I'm pulling in the yellow letters from the Allie Edwards kit this month, and then last but not least, the blue letters from the um, Snap collection. Us at 18 years. So I, I, I like the juxtaposition of the photograph on the left that says 1997, and then the photograph on the top right that has us at 18 years of marriage. So the other card that I'm pulling in that is not an Allie Edwards card, but rather a Studio Calico, is this one with the pie chart. So I thought this would add a little fun and interest. And initially, what I have in mind is to use this pie chart to create my title card. One of the reasons why I'm selecting this card is to bring a little brightness and fun to a rather muted spread. So I'm using the Silver Brads, which actually... Um, came in the um, Allie Edwards story kit, 10 of them, and I'm going to use four here along with some of the twine that's also included in the kit. So what I want to do is to use each section of, to mark each section of the pie chart um, with a sentiment. And I'm using the Tim Holtz phrases, um, and I'm selecting ones that I think um, work well to describe what strategies, what things you have to do to make a marriage work. And so I select four different ones, have an open heart, practice kindness, choose to see the good, and remember to play. Um, and each of those sentiments are represented in the different sections of the chart. So again, because I'm imagining at this point that this is going to be my title card, I am noting week 31 on the corner. But now I have a dilemma because I also need to explain or provide a title for the pie chart. You know, you know, kind of basic, I don't know, fifth grader math, right? If you have a, if you have a chart, if you have a graph, you have to provide a title. So I'm trying to create a title. And this is where things get a little bit messy and I will discover that I cannot use this card as my title card. So I'm going to go back to the blue snap letters and use them on this label. And initially I'm thinking that the title is going to be like how to stay married. So I've got the how to and then I'm going to pull out 
the Tim Holtz little letters. And I'm going to try to include Stay Married. But I realize that's just too much. And so I changed my mind and I go with How to Do 18. I thought that that would be a nice balance um, with the card to the right, which says Us at 18. And so having the card to the left saying How to Do 18. But voila, I realized, nope, 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 nope. Not going to work as a title card. I want to use it, but I don't have a place for it. That's where the insert comes in. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to create an insert that has one four by six and two three by fours. But then I have to determine whether or not I want this pie chart to go on the front or back side of the insert. I like it on the back side of the insert and think it complements the right hand side of this week spread. So then I go back to the Allie Edwards kit and try to pull out some additional items that I can incorporate into the layout. At first, I think I want to use this forest green card. Of course, I'm delusional because I absolutely hate, 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 hate forest green. So I remember and come to my senses and get rid of it, you see, to the side because I can't stand forest green. Um, but I do like this light pink card. They came in the Ali Edwards kit, and I'm going to include the yellow chipboard star with it. And I, I like that combination, the pink with the yellow, and I also kind of want to pull the yellow out. I've got the 18 um, in yellow and some few other yellow elements as well. Again, continuing with the yellow, I'm going to place the word summer on this 4x6 card. This 4x6 card is a printable that I found at the Lily Pad. They have wonderful, wonderful printable collections. You should check it out. Um, and then my white title card, I decide to make it simple, simple. I previously um, stamped the word documented, um, but didn't use it and tossed it in my bin and pulled it out and thought, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I need and wanted to, again, keep the title card simple. So I'm going to layer several labels. Both of these labels are printable labels. That's, I think that's a Studio Calico and then another label that I found at the Lily Pad. And then I'm also going to include, include a little bit of the wood veneer. And now I simply have to work out the placement of my number and the week. Yep. Okay. So a few more things I want to include, that piece of chipboard from the um, story kit. I need to stamp my date. This is on a printable, but a, instead of on paper, I printed that label on vellum, and it adds a slightly softer touch, which I think is nice for this week's spread. All right, so that's it. Or almost. <laughs> that yellow card is another Allie Edwards card. Adding a tag. Not going to do much here. Going to add one little chipboard embellishment. And then I need to finish up with some journaling. So this is it. This is what the final layout looks like in my album. So that's the week with the insert. Again, um, although I've used... The Ali Edwards kit, and most of the colors are fairly soft and muted. I've added some of the printables, that splash of blue, some of the yellow, and then I think including the Studio Calico cards um, makes for a fairly bright, I think, um, and fun layout. This was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to receiving my next story kit from Ali Edwards. Thanks so much for stopping by. I had fun sharing. And as always, always beautiful people, hugs to you. Make somebody smile today.